smoking weed and he looked like yeah. I can't wait to get out of here to go smoke the but entire that's episode that's what I, I be trying to see you know he just want to keep getting all fucking defensive I'm like dude you grown you want to smoke I know you want to keep defending the smokers but just look at it the successful people don't get high Get me about Lil Wayne and how I'm talking about some man. I ain't never been, I ain't never experienced no racism. I'm like, how I left? They just came to your house just four days ago, <laughs> raid your house, that's why woke I you up in your sleep, looking for dead bodies. Y'all, I mean, none of y'all say, I mean, okay, I can't defend Lil Wayne, but Cause the man, the players, you ain't gonna eat them alive. And that's what um, that's what I was trying to tell my brothers. I'm like, look, they did some racist shit for paying nothing, but I can't say that it ain't no, I can't say double standard because they did the same shit for Ray Lewis. This is the who makes the money for the league. Yep. <laughs> if you're comfortable to the league, they gonna protect their motherfucking investment. Yeah. So that's just all that is to them. Yeah, because now they all attacking Jerry Jones. And I'm like, look, I'm like, look, the league is what it is. I'm like, you on your job. You on they clock. <laughs> so you go by they rules. Yeah, it's freedom of speech. You got constitutional rights, but you ain't got the constitutional right to disrespect at nobody at your job. They paying you. <laughs> so whatever the rules are, you got to follow <laughs> People yeah. like, I'm like, there's no rules to say you can't go to somebody's food at a restaurant and fart over their food, but you don't do it. Because <laughs> there's a respect level. <laughs> there's a 
disrespect, so it don't need to be a said rule. Man, my constitutional right said I can go over there and do what I want. But you got to deal with the consequences. Because you know, somebody come fired over somebody's food. <laughs> you gonna have to deal with those consequences that come after your constitutional yeah. right. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm like, man. Look, I'm not gonna go follow behind no Colin Kaepernick, <laughs> somebody who been Muslim for two weeks who just read a book and he excited. Man, did you know we was oppressed? <laughs> you know, he's like, man, go sit your butt down somewhere. What was all this with my new round with Chris Jackson? My new Abdul Raoul, he didn't stand up. He ain't had none of this. <laughs> he ain't had nobody come out to support him. Because it's, it's, a, it's, it's a different day, though, kid. Yep. You know, we, it's not, it, Twitter and all this shit wasn't around. I mean, like then, it wasn't like, you know, shit you did was actually undercover. You know, if you take a shit in public now, it's, it's breaking news. And that's the shit that's pissing me off because we're going to be talking about this shit in week seven and nobody's still talking about the shit that he's protesting about. No. Nope. protesting about the fucking racism. But y'all are just so fucking caught up in, is he going to stand up this week? What's the stand on this? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck do you care about Tony LaRusso's opinion for? That's what I'm saying. Why we ain't talking to no goddamn cop or no goddamn politician saying what we going to do to clean this shit up that's going on? That's, yeah. the that's the reason he protested. Yeah, that's the same thing Shannon Sharp said. He's like, yeah. have you realized that nobody's talking about the issue? <laughs> yeah. Everybody talking about the flag. Yeah. Nobody talking about the flag. He's like, he didn't mention the flag. He didn't mention the soldiers. Listen, listen, listen. 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 The fucking bad. Look at all these homeless ass veterans out here. Where's your patriotism to a dick? I don't want to give these motherfuckers a dollar. Yep. That's the y'all truth. Paying for these, y'all paying for these welfare mamas that have fucking cribs with the fucking veterans who went and go fight for the country. They come back and don't get shit. They don't, they don't even give the health benefits half of them. They got to go to the fucking county like they a fucking um, criminal ass nigga. You ain't got no insurance for it. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Yep. They come back and don't get shit. And I'm, I'm like, like man, like, man y'all, I'm like, y'all motherfuckers just jump on the story. These veterans, there's plenty of veterans out here fucked up. Y'all don't say shit. Nope. Yeah, it's about the flag. This shit ain't got nothing to do with the flag. It's about who this nigga think he is breaking protocol. <laughs> yep. That's all this shit is about. Nigga, sit your ass down. Nobody told you to do that. Sit your ass there. And the only reason he's still on the damn team is because he's saying he's the number one son in Jersey. But as soon as the books are wet off, they're going to be in the wheel, hey. Wow, he's still on the team because they got to pay him $12 million. <laughs> and it's So he's going to get dressed. Even if he got to sit there, but he ain't want the starting job anyway. I'm like, he ain't gonna be there. That's I what I keep telling people. I'm like, he ain't wanna be I there. Told, I told you no one was a skiller. I maybe it was skiller. The nigga been trying to get traded. He doing he did this shit hoping they would release his ass. That's really the objective. Yep. He does that foolish shit to what he wants. He yep. tried to demand a trade and they was like, Fuck you, we ain't trade you, we own you, boy. And he was like, okay, if I do this shit, they gonna say this, they gonna, I'm gonna, they gonna make this uh, conduct detrimental to the team and they just gonna release it. That's what he was hoping. And the shit ain't work like that. They're like, fuck this. We can't, we gonna kick your ass because we still gotta pay you. And we ain't finna release you right now because there's gonna be too much heat. We don't need all that heat, man. So he gonna keep your ass. Yep. Now, that, the whole reason for this patriotic move was that. These niggas gonna cut me now. Cause I don't wanna be here. Yeah. Cause the real, cause the real story is he the motherfucker that got Harbaugh fired. <laughs> cause the owner ain't set up on that shit. Yep. He's like, wait a minute, this motherfucker's a bum. After they figured out that, <laughs> that motherfucker. When Alex Smith left, yeah. yeah. Now, after they figured out, okay, let's just stop this nigga running to make them stand up. And they found out he couldn't brew work for shit. That's when they were looking at 
car, bro. Like, it looks like your big move turned out to be shit. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, he got a strong arm, and then you no, see RJ three, RJ RJ three hurt again, and then they want to blame the mobile quarterback. But I'm no. like, no, nah, he hurt himself because he's stupid. He should have just ran out of bounds and try to preserve yourself. I'm like, dude, this this no. week one, you RG, run right into no, the defensive RG, line. No, RG problem was I watched part of the game. He was playing not to get hurt, and you can't play like that. He was staying in the pocket getting hit because he was scared to run because he was letting that shit get in his ear. They tried to work with him. Just stop. No, his thing was when he did run, he, he ran irresponsible. It's like, dude, slide or get out of bounds. You run right into the damn defensive lineman. <laughs> you hurt yourself. He didn't because even tackle you. The dude was out of bounds. You run right into him. Because he, 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 he's thinking too much. You can't play like that, dog. You can't play sports thinking too much. You gotta play. When, when you just, when you start playing any sport and you thinking too much, dog, you do this, let's just do this. You gonna wind up fucking up. <laughs> like, like, like hugs, huh? You thinking too much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's for real, though. Yeah. You start thinking too much, worried about what these motherfuckers saying. That's when your game gonna be fucked up. And that shit fucks up your game. And they trying to work on him. That's why they keep letting these motherfuckers T.O. on them. Because at first they didn't find nobody. And I guess they somebody was calling in. Like, what the fuck? Because I know I was like, what the fuck? Because at first they said no fire. Yep. And then now they uh-huh. now they find Marshall. Because I'm like, here's a deliberate. He speared him. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, he speared him over this Colin Kaepernick thing. And I'm like, because Callan Kaepernick, he's standing with him. Like, I'm standing with Kaepernick. And he ain't. So I'm, I got to set an example. And the league oh, mad at, they, they mad at okay. Cam either way. The league mad uh-huh. at Cam because of the Super Bowl. And they, yeah, he just got up and left. Well, he arrogant. We got to teach him a lesson. So we going to let him get hit. So, yeah, that's what they was on. Man, they want Cam to get hurt. They, I told you. Oh, yeah, yeah. We all know that. They don't want this to they become the that. NBA. Exactly. That's all that shit is about. Because they know Brady on his last leg, and this Andrew Luck nigga is not holding up his end of the bar. No, nah, they trying to still sell him, though. They like, man, Luck is all right and all this. Yeah, of course they are. And Trent Delphine is about 10 seconds from getting himself knocked out by the freak. I was like, <laughs> He's a Colin Confidence, a backup quarterback. His place is to just sit there and shut up. It was like, what? I was like, you so, so short. Did you see the look on Freak face? I was like, you, you said yeah, that. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't watch the ESPN press. Yeah, man. They showed that clip. I mean, the look on Freak face is like, man, do you know I choked and beat the heck out of a white guy in high school for this? <laughs> But what you just said, he said a little bit less than what you said. Freak was ready to whoop them right there on the set. I'm quite sure they had a conversation as soon as that was over. Because <laughs> Freak was nice and, and steam. I was like, dude, you don't know who you talking to first. Randy ain't no company guy. <laughs> he trying to play nice with the suit and everything on, but he from Rand, Missouri. <laughs> He didn't came from all this racism from down there. I was like, he had to, he was sticking up for another dude, brother. When he beat the heck out of a white guy, the white guy didn't even say it to him. <laughs> and he got in all that trouble for that. So imagine what you going to get, Trent. And you just doing it for a show. You doing it for some ratings. Like, I'm going to get some ratings for us. Watch me go out here and say something controversial. I'm like, you don't even have a position, but you finna put yourself in a whole different situation where you gonna get yourself whooped on the set. Well, that's why I don't watch ESPN no more. Cause you got a bunch of sub-ass niggas on scrub that be trying to get in commentary. That's that's why I can't listen to Stacey King. Dude, you was a scrub. And he's trying to sit up here talking about ballers. And they're winning, so you get a bunch of fucking scrubs. I got Kurt Warner, I got Marshall Falk, Deion Sanders, Michael Irvin. They all Hall of Fame. 
motherfucker the analysis that you think I'm gonna take serious. And then you got Trent Dilfer, Booker McFarlane. Who ain't stop playing, man? They finally got C. Wood and Mo. Yeah, because they they try to jazz it up. They was they let uh some other people go and brought in the freak. I was like, yeah, they let all them go and brought in the freak. And I was like, yeah, they got Randy Moss over there. Because everybody watched NFL Network. I didn't the last time I watched Prime on ESPN. Yeah, somebody else said the same thing. They was like, man, when they had Dion them over there, that's when I watched. Yeah. <laughs> but wherever Prime go, that's it. But like Shannon Sharp said, they was talking about uh, is Revis uh, who was better, Revis or Prime? I'm like, that's not even that's no comparison. <laughs> like like Shannon Sharp said, there's no comparison. The word shut down corner was invented by Prime. <laughs> He is like, there's no way. He's like, Prime would take anything away from you. Any position. He's like, anything you put Dion in. He's like, when they did throw the ball, it was dangerous. He's like, he caught up on a man on a slant. He's like, he beat him to the ball. Now, he's like, he was like, I'll never forget that interception. He was like, that was the most. He's like, that's the best quarterback play I've ever seen in my life. He was like, it was a post route. He beat him to the post. He was like, he was that fast. Prime beat him to the post, intercepted the ball, and pointed the ball at him. Like, told you. <laughs> Don't play with me out here. <laughs> he was, no, that's a shutdown corner right there. You don't throw the ball in prime direction. He was like, it used to be a note. Do not throw the ball where Deion Sanders is. <laughs> Keep him out the game. <laughs> they used to, he's like, they's like, man, Atlanta had to let him return kicks just because he was getting bored. Like, man, I ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> they, that's why Prime started returning kicks. And he was running those back. <laughs> He's like, that's a no-brainer. He's he's definitely the best corner ever to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's why they ain't gonna like Shannon Shaw for too much longer. They gonna have to. They gonna get a lot of complaints because he ain't even let nothing ride. Nothing. I'm like, man, that's what's gonna make the ring. Yeah, it is. I'm like, he they taking everybody from first take. Everybody go over there, they watch one episode, and they be like, look, I'm gone. I ain't going back to first take. <laughs> I told you when, when I sent y'all that clip of him talking out a, a damn audition, somebody you could debate with me. I knew they were desperate then. I'm like, there's something happening with stupid or something. <laughs> you pretty much saying, Max, look, when you offer people, just random people on the line and come debate with you, yeah, I'm going to pick somebody. Yeah, that was when we were talking to big announcements. Yeah. <laughs> you come to debate with me, I'll pick you. You <laughs> yeah. come on the show in the middle. <laughs> I know, when, it's, when I saw that, I'm like, man, you just did admit it to yourself. It ain't been a week. I'm like, the show ain't yeah. been all a week, and you already tried to pivot to something else. <laughs> because, because, because the numbers don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> I'm like that. Nah, I'm like now nah, he want to get controversial with the NFL. The NFL is being paid by the military to be patriotic. Stephen A. Smith want to get controversial now, like Shannon Sharp. He now he want to rub, rub, you know, ruffle some feathers like Shannon. I'm like, man, this is I'm like this is just sad. This is real sad. <laughs> this is real sad to see because I'm like. It ain't gonna work for him because see, Shannon is naturally this way. He got screwed out the CBS job for Tony Gonzalez. Y'all screwed him out of that. He been mad about that for three years, and I'm like, now you put him on a platform, and like he said, look, man, judge me if you go. Don't look at the drug deal on the corner, and then judge me off that. And be like, hey, you know, he's a thug, he got a gun, so you're going to perceive me like that. If you don't want us to look at you and see some old white guy that went arrested and shot up a church, 
and look at y'all and think of y'all like, hey, that's not a reflection of me. Well, they don't look at us like that. <laughs> I ain't. We not asking for a handout. We just saying, don't try to hold us down. <laughs> Nobody asking you for a handout. If I'm the better man for the job, then I'm just the better man for the job. That's just it. The best, let the best man win. <laughs> so that's just how it was. But man, I was like, they don't want anybody like that speaking up. Period. And that's why I was like, he, they gave him a green light saying, man, Fox J, dude, do what you do. We want you to be Shannon Shaw. <laughs> like, you go in and say what you want. We got no, you got no restrictions. But that's, that's kind of like how Stevie, like Stephen A. used to be when he first came back. Yeah, that's then, they, then they had to shackle him down. See, Walt Disney bought ESPN, and that's when they screwed everything up. When Walt Disney purchased ESPN, Everything been going downhill. They they trying to get rid of Boomer. I'm like, how you get rid of Boomer? Boomer, they trying to like, well, you got to do a retirement thing. They trying to force him to do a retirement like this your last season, and we want everybody to Boomer like, I love what I do, and I ain't trying to retire. <laughs> so Fox is like, well, we'll take Boomer. <laughs> I mean, they got everybody over there. They got Will Cox. They got Colin. Everybody from ESPN is going over to Fox. Because Fox is like, look, we finna compete with them. We finna get them out of here. And I agree with the whole rundown. Get them out of here until they go back to the real format of letting it be about sports instead of all this nonsense. Because all they doing is anybody who own or they got a business partnership with, that's who gets the spot. I'm like, what in the world is going on over here? Because they got too many corny people. Like that. That damn never time show that corn. I don't. It's Walt Disney. Yeah, all this is Disney. That thing with the grandpa and the, and the dad, yeah. that highly questionable. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's don't that look like a Disney show? That look like it should be on the Disney Channel. That show like Sports Center. I'm like, that's corn. <laughs> How did these dudes get a sports talk show? And the brother behind me, Jones, has been looking like, man, I got to do this to get a check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, I started to complain, like, okay, the NBA is supposed to be sponsoring the WNBA. I'm like, they don't even promote it. No, like, they don't. ESPN, I was like, ESPN can have a show just for the one, the WNBA. They gave Tim Tebow a show for the SEC network. <laughs> like, <laughs> damn. Yep. And I'm like, dude, they should have games this week just like the NBA do during the summer. Yeah, I mean, it's like they ain't making no money. I'm like, you ain't promoting. I don't even know where the games are. I just see the games that I just flipping through. Yeah, yeah I saw 50, 50 Cent was at the game just down the street from that crib at the Chicago Sky. I'm like, man, 50 Cent, what is he doing? But this is what I'm saying, Chill. They ain't in the playoffs right now. How you ain't promoting the playoffs? <laughs> right, I, I didn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> That's how bad it is. And then they was like, like somebody else was like, man, that's still going on? WNBA? I'm like, wow! People don't even know! But see, but see that's what I be talking about. People just gotta keep their mouth shut and get a check. You can have Jamil Hill or they care to ship me. You can have them doing, you can have them covering the WNBA instead of just giving her a job where she can just sit there and be mediated and look like a bimbo. <laughs> well, I don't know, Skip, you might have got you on that one. I'm like, they just trying to make the woman look stupid. I'm like, okay. At least on here to her, Jamil Hill do get a, a, a sports columnist opinion. She's the baby. Yep. But most of the damn show when Terry Champion was on the show, I'm like, she just high-candy to sit there and look stupid. Just like the lady they got there now. Her can't and she's just sitting there being looking stupid. Yep, that's all they want to see. <laughs> sit yeah. there and shut up, don't say nothing. Yeah, I'm like, they ain't got nothing to add to the conversation. Nothing. Exactly. But it's like, okay, it's not like you don't have nothing to put them in the people. They can be covering the WWBA. Yeah. And, and, then, the and now I finally understand why the Chicago Bulls ain't want nothing to do with Derrick Rose. And they just like, we want out. This whole sexual harassment lawsuit. <laughs> 
is, is get bigger and bigger because this idiot continues. He goes and names, uh, what's his name? She was messing around with Nick Young. What? And, yeah, she was messing with Nick Young from the Lakers. And all this, he's bringing up now, he's throwing Nick Young under the bus with the broad. I'm like, and oh, it, all he had to do was just shut his damn mouth and he would have paid the brother up. Yeah, she only wants some money and she wanted, he's like, man, she trying to sue me. She wants $21 million. Because she, was, cause she didn't want to do a threesome and I'm like, man, we like brothers. Why can't he hit two? I mean, that's that's part of that Englewood mentality, man. He got to shake yeah. that off. Yeah. I'm like, dog, why do you need to have your homie hit a chick with you? You know, I'm like, what's the point of that? That's that silliness. Well, that's the stuff that's going to lead to lawsuits. You know, what you, well, what you got to understand is, once you're a professional athlete, you can't get, you ain't in high school no more. You probably need to run chicks like that when you was in high school because they know you ain't had no money. <laughs> These chicks know you got money now. <laughs> they only talking to you. The only reason you get me is because you got money. That's what gold messed up. You have to learn you can't just hit nobody and be like, yeah, I'm going to buy my business. <laughs> you you got to pay. You got to pay for everything. Yeah. You don't have to for free no more. It's just... Right, you're going to get sued. Man. And he's like, man, I can't believe it. I'm getting sued. Yeah, you're going to get sued. You yeah, bumping yeah, into somebody, you, know you getting sued. Floyd yeah. had to learn that out. Everybody had to learn it. Yeah. You know, and I was like, man, Floyd, like, man, I had to admit that I did something I didn't even do. <laughs> You know, he's like, that's crazy. I'm getting sued for nothing. And I'm like, yeah, when they find out you got money, you get sued. That's just how it is. But you, that's just dumb. Talking about some, yeah, let's run this chick. You know, you, me and my boy, we do this like, me and we, we get down like that. I'm like, well, what kind of idiot is this? He shouldn't, boy, he shouldn't be doing no interviews. But I see why the Bulls cut themselves out this situation. <laughs> I think it was that interview you was talking about where he did like yeah man she was down with it <laughs> I told you <laughs> a lot of people still to this day don't believe me I'm like look man they, they cut the arrow quick cause they was like don't he really just say that cause I know that's what I was saying supposed <laughs> to say that on live TV he was with it like Patrick Kane Talk to his lawyers, they told him to shut the hell up and say no comment, and they was gonna take care of it. This fool get up and say she was with it. <laughs> right, no media training at all, just goes right out. Yeah, she was with it. Yeah, because that's that, like you said, that's that angle, and I'm GD, I ain't gonna fuck for these tech woods. She was with it. I mean, what? <laughs> right, you know, it ain't you can't do that. And now I, the Bulls is like every time they bring it up, they say New York Knicks point guard <laughs> Derrick Rose. They don't put the Chicago Bulls in it at all, no more. And that's yeah, exactly right. what they wanted. They wanted themselves uh, cut right out of no, the pitch. Ain't, ain't the Bulls know what they doing? They got rid of. That's why they picked up Wade because they knew everybody from the city was gonna be pissed, and they satisfied the city needs. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. They satisfied, man. <laughs> I mess with Wade and I watched him just to watch Wade. <laughs> yeah, they got lucky with Wade because Wade actually was one thinking about he was trying to go back to Miami. But once Miami dropped the ball, the Bulls came knocking along. You know, because yeah. they don't make those kind of deals. <laughs> yeah, the Bulls don't. It's all about business. They only made that they only got Wade. Like I try to tell these NBA Bull fans, I'm like, man, y'all talking about that? I'm like, y'all really the worst organization ever. No, any any organization where they didn't won six world championships, that they don't have a place for who y'all call the best player in in the whole sport. Michael Jordan, he couldn't have nothing for him. I'm like. <laughs> The best player in the sport that they took your company, your company, the Bulls was worth a hundred million dollars or less. They bought the Bulls for like two, ten million or, or twelve million dollars. He got there, they were worth less than a hundred million dollars when he got there. 
That team now is worth about a billion dollars. <laughs> Built off the wealth of Michael Jordan. <laughs> he made that team wealth go up. Hundreds of millions of dollars. And you tell Michael Jordan he ain't worth thirty million dollars, he should have slapped the shit out of them right then. <laughs> the league owe him a check. And I'm like, I'm not a Michael Jordan fan at all. And I'm saying it. <laughs> so what is you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was mad as a bell when I heard that. I'm like, they like, man, Michael didn't care about that. I'm like, then why Michael put it in his book? My man like, Mike still salty about that. Why you think he was at the Hall of Fame speech? He was talking about Jerry Krause like he was. I didn't invite him. I was like, cause y'all think money make up for everything. <laughs> I'm like, like, yeah, hey, here's some money. You got money, you rich man. <laughs> here's your little check. <laughs> Take you got your little thousand dollars. <laughs> like that's supposed to make up for you mistreating him. And he was like, no, nah, he won his word. But the NBA should have been cutting him a check. He increased the league revenue. Everybody getting these hundred million dollar deals. Mike made two point four million dollars a season. <laughs> of course, he came back saying, "I want." They paid Larry Bird. They made it the Larry Bird rule. Boston said, we going to pay Larry this much and you can't tell us no. Larry was getting twenty some million million a season. They called it the Larry Bird deal. <laughs> there ain't no way in the world. Michael Jordan, uh -uh. he came back to the table like he wanted $50 million a season. And he wasn't lying. <laughs> oh, I'm getting paid $50 million and we ain't playing. That's just it. And the league was like, look, they, they told the Bulls what y'all hesitating for. <laughs> Boston Boston was going to pay Mike when he retired. They asked the Bulls. They said, hey, they had a brother Jim, and he knew. He's like, oh, I know what Michael want. He was like, believe me, I, Michael will be back in the NBA if the Bulls give us permission to talk to him. That's all we want is permission. <laughs> get, let us talk to Michael Jordan. He was going to hand Mike a check. <laughs> that was going to get Mike on that court. And the Bulls knew it. The Bulls, nah, we like, why won't they give us permission? The man's retired. All they got to do is give me permission to talk to Michael Jordan. I guarantee you, he'll come back and play. <laughs> Once I talk to Michael Jordan. Because the, the Boston Celtics is going to pay him. They ain't going to pay him. they like, look, here you go. $35 million a season? What you want? $50 million? Here you go. <laughs> you don't tell Michael Jordan he ain't worth that. <laughs> when he sells out, real right? When he sell out every stadium he goes into, and increasing the revenue there, <laughs> the league was in disarray when he left. They was trying to groom Grand Hill. That's why they gave him the keys coming out of college. That's why I was telling Skiller though about Shaq. I said, man, Shaq, they never gave him the keys. They didn't give him the keys to nothing. <laughs> when they came in the league, they gave it to Grant Hill. The same thing Zeke said on the show. He was like, man, don't ever say that. No, don't be modest, Grant. Don't ever compare yourself to Scottie Pippen and put him above you because he didn't got some championship. No, don't say that. Nobody was going to hand Scottie no league. <laughs> He's a role player. <laughs> he ain't no manager. <laughs> <laughs> All he was was a shot lot. <laughs> He's going nowhere because we got him on the contract. <laughs> Let's not just let the Detroit Pistons off the hook because Isaiah built that damn stadium and they ain't even a plaque over there. You damn right. And you damn right about that. You damn right about that. But see, there was an issue there that I knew what happened. There was an issue, but the issue got resolved. But Bill Davidson is dead now. So he, but still, that should be addressed. Man, I don't give a damn what no issue is. He's supposed to have a statue. I understand all that, but it's new ownership. See, the Bulls still got the same crazy ownership. I don't give a damn about no new ownership. I know you don't. If Bill Davidson was there, they had a fight. Him and Isaiah had it out. Isaiah's supposed to have that job. And it ended up going to Joe. Because Isaiah wanted it right away, and they couldn't make it happen right away. So, it's disrespectful to have, 
that Chauncey ain't got nothing against Chauncey Bill. You know I ain't no Detroit fan, but what's right is right. Ain't no motherfucker in their rabbit ass line. <laughs> Anybody that's real from Detroit, I don't even know how the fans go up for that. Well, it should be. Isaiah Thomas should have a statue. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas should have his name on the building. Well, okay. it should be Isaiah so Thomas we'll, presents we'll the see. palace we'll in we'll the Detroit Pistons. The, the person with the money got to write to put their name on it. I'm not going to do that. But he needs to be acknowledged. And I'm like, you know, I'm walking around here like, I don't see Isaiah Thomas, certainly. And I'm in the goddamn palace. Yeah, I mean, that's ridiculous. As soon as you walk in there, it should automatically... I think it should be the Pistons. I should see Vinny Johnson. I should... They, I know... Yeah, they're, 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 no, they're trying to erase their whole team. Like I know. They want to go ahead, and that's what Zeke talked about. He said they. that's why they changed the jerseys to this teal and orange with that new logo with the fiery yeah, Pistons. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, he was like, that's yeah. they wanted to try to erase us out of history because they didn't... They wasn't part of the program. <laughs> they they disrupted the system. And they disrupted the party that they was having in the NBA. <laughs> With this yeah, Lakers okay. and Celtics. I understand, I understand the league not doing it. But how can the Detroit Pistons be the Lakers? Like, what are you talking about? It's the NBA. It's these new owners. I'm trying to tell you. They only caring about right now. They ain't caring about yesterday. And that's just how you see the down on championship trophies. It's downstairs, the two that we won. They downstairs when you, as soon as you walk in, there are the two right there. Like, there you go. There's your pants. <laughs> yeah, now, let's talk about this future. Get in there and buy Drummond. I'm like, Drummond might not be on the team two more years, the way this is going. And I'm about Pope Jersey. Are you kidding me? You better, <laughs> you better get me a rhyming down here. You better get me a Vinnie Johnson. I want to see the old school Pistons jersey. Well, we'll make it over there. I don't want you to make me a jersey right here. Because you can still go to the National and get a Mike there. Of course. They still making money off Mike there. And they couldn't even give him a general manager spot, but John Paxson can get it. <laughs> he has no qualifications for the job. But well, all right, John. Well, John, and then, then what, hit, what cracked me up is the white guy going to tell me, oh, well, John Paxson's the one to hit the two shots to win the game. I'm like, Mike, John Paxson, I'm like, Steve Kerr hit a shot. What that mean? <laughs> they was MVP. <laughs> Why do you think they got those shots? Because well, nobody cared about them. <laughs> they were worried about the threat. <laughs> I like, I like these people. Need, they be going way too far with this. <laughs> well, if Paxson hit two shots, he the one hit the shots against the Lakers. Man, that's why. Why you think they trying so hard to keep the NFL from being like this? Trying to make him out as a running quarterback, like Shannon Sharp said. Look, man, he threw for four thousand yards. <laughs> well, yeah, he had a hot two, three games. Then he sucked. He's like, no matter what you saying, he still threw. For, <laughs> he's like, yeah, okay, he threw for four hundred in those two games. Then he dropped off. But yeah, okay, well, he still threw for thirty six more hundred yards. <laughs> He still threw for 3,200 yards somewhere uh, 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 during the man. season. Okay. So, in, in his rookie in year, game, he threw for 4,000 yards. He did so good. He threw for 4,000 Yeah, so I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> this, he's like, but now he's a, he's a, he's a running quarterback. But if, he's a, but if he's white, he's a mobile quarterback. Steve Young yeah, and all yeah. them, they mobile quarterbacks, right? 
But if you but if you black, <laughs> you a running quarterback. You see how this, the, the stereotype is and how things change with words? <laughs> I was like, yeah, they gonna have to shut shut they gonna have to shut shut it down. He exposing too much. They're gonna be like, look, somebody gotta slow him down, Skip. You gotta take control. <laughs> I was like Shannon, I was like he ain't going for the BS, and I like it. That's why I'm like I'm a DVR everything else until somebody tell him to calm down. But what's getting me is that like I told them about the uh, NBA when Larry Bird came out and made that statement. Well, there ain't enough white guys out there. David Stern jumped down his thing. Oh no, Larry, Larry shouldn't have said that. That's not the we want the best players out there. What does it matter about race and this and that? Like, oh no, Larry. Larry didn't even know he was being racist. Larry just like, look, man, I'm, we're looking out there and these people, you know, we need some white guys in the mix. We need some more white guys out there. And that's just how it was. And Larry was just being free speech. But, but I've been told you that. Yeah, I know. You, but this was years ago when Larry said this. Larry said it years ago. And that they needed more, um, the NBA needed more white guys out there. That's, when, that's, that's why all these grown. Europeans is in the league. Exactly. <laughs> because the homegrown white boys suck. So that's why everybody just, you know. Yeah, they went to the Europeans, and they and now yeah. they bringing the Euro ball over here. Exactly. And now we we cater into how they play in Europe, and they don't mm-hmm. they don't play post game over there. That's why I'm like they and whole exactly. thing is fast paced. They send us shoot three, and, and, and now and we you over here playing you know, like them. And you know, you know, they know you got the wrong. What they doing is they making these niggas from just coming out of school, and they just athletes obsolete. They making the center position up for me. If you can't dribble and shoot threes, you no use to a team no more. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. They they got us playing like you got to play like them, like the Euro League, yeah, run and exactly. shoot. And I'm like, dude, this the Euro League. That's why nobody got any post moves. They don't know how to pass in the post. Nobody can yeah. do anything. They just give the ball to somebody and be like, go ahead, do your thing, man. <laughs> that's it. And then they gonna just take the ball, face up, dribble out. Nobody got a hook shot. Nobody doing no hooks off the glass. None, no post moves, fake, go up, nothing. I ain't even seen nobody go in the post and set up in a long time. I ain't seen a power forward do that. The power forward is shooting threes. I'm like, man, this is ridiculous out here. Yeah, yeah. And then they, I'm like, how you going to compare somebody in this league to anybody from the past? <laughs> you think they had this kind of opportunity? Then this open lanes, yeah, there ain't enough lanes open. I'm like, if all of these lanes is open, that's why I'm be like, LeBron should be scoring forty a night. <laughs> There's no excuse for it. Shoot, in today's league, if you score twenty, you ain't did nothing. Like 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 John said, he was like, man, scoring thirty is easy. That ain't nothing but eight a quarter. <laughs> that's eight a quarter for me. I mean, I, that's really nothing. <laughs> so I average thirty just by happenstance to average thirty. That ain't nothing but eight points a quarter. <laughs> and he ain't lying. He's like, I come back at the close. I could average thirty. That ain't nothing but eight a quarter. That's really four shots for me. <laughs> Four shots a quarter, and I'm good. At the end of the game, I have over 30. So, that's what I like about the uh, the fact that Mike at least is, he old school. He understood, look, he yeah, he did get some favorable calls, but Mike could put the ball in the basket. <laughs> and that's why I tell people I was like look I didn't like Michael Jordan but I respected him because he was a player I'm like he was somebody out there competing he, he was like look yeah I'm going to get my calls but I'm also going to hit some shots <laughs> it wasn't like Michael's out here broke and that's why I can't compare to some of these other balls that get all this leg up like Shaq I'm like dude all you did was elbow people in the face and dunk the ball that ain't no skill oh, man, Shaq was a dominant force yeah if you don't call no fouls that's exactly you anybody could do that well no centers in the league who's there some bonus 
They had some like, bonuses. Exactly. Like I said, every time we had that argument, I said, look, man, he came, he did what he was supposed to do. He dominated his time because when he came in, all them dudes was on their way out. That's not true. I said, yes, it is. After 95, I can't work done. But when you see what happened when he played him in 95, <laughs> he was getting school. Yeah, like he got school. I said, they everybody was taking him to school. I mean, Rick and, and Smith. They, and they're telling me, they telling me how soft David Robinson is. I said, David Robinson scored 72 points in the game. Shaq will never do that. You want to know why David Robinson scored 72 <laughs> points in the game? Because he can shoot he free throw. throw shot. And he can <laughs> shoot. He can hit free throw. <laughs> yep. He had all around game. Shaq ain't going to never get 70 because he's going to miss 20 free throws. That's what the guy was like, well, he don't get through touches like that. And I'm like, that's my point. You can't go to him like that. If he ain't right under the basket to get a dunk, he's useless to you. That's why I couldn't but giving him the ball when the game was on the line. You ain't never heard them say we gotta put David Robinson on the bench because they gonna foul him. He's scared he's gonna get fouled. Yeah, now they want to take that rule away. You can't intentionally foul. Yeah, because, yeah, because... Because it's exposed and that's, and that's what Reggie Miller was bad. That was bad too. He's like, how you gonna reward these guys for not being able to shoot free throws? And I'm yeah. like, yeah. No, what true. they need to no, what they need to do is they need to put a set of in their contract with this. I bet you if the owners was able to deduct their pay, if they don't shoot a certain percentage, they'll work on their free throws. Yeah, that's it's the thing. Shaq shot Shaq was shooting much better. In Orlando, when they had, they had it in there that he had to work with the free throw, he had to come yeah. in to practice early and yeah. shoot with that coach. Yeah. And he was in free throws then, but when he it's went to like, L.A., it was like, I ain't got to do it no more. Yeah, it's embarrassing. You can't tell me drumming out here shooting air balls. How you shooting air balls, man? Ain't nobody guarding you. <laughs> How you sitting there shooting the air ball when you there and nobody's guarding you? I don't care if you got to throw underhand to get the ball yeah, in. Yeah, like, like, well, man, you can throw it underhand and get it in there. Do it like Rick Beer. Do you, know, do you know how embarrassing that sounds on his hands to be? I'm like, all of a sudden, the foot back in the day to shoot. Yeah, I'm why like, can't he? I'm like, I'm like, the only seven footer that couldn't shoot was Will Chandler. And that's why they tried to compare him to him. But I'm like, at least Will was an athlete. And that's what Shannon Sharp was talking about, like, look, dude, if you was in shape, you could have got your point. And that's yep. what I was saying, too. That's what Cole was saying, like, dude, you late. <laughs> yeah, he, that's why him and Cole got it to it. And Cole was right. You using the season to try to get in shape, and then you get hurt. Now we out here by yeah. ourselves. Because <laughs> yeah. you ain't got no discipline. Yeah, then, um, that's what the White House problem is. I don't care if his back messed up or not. He's still the biggest dude on the court. He's still the best athlete in the NBA. If he just run the damn floor and rebound, he could get 20 or 20. If he shoot about 70% from the line and rebound, he would easily average a double dub. Yeah, but his back done, man, so, <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I understood that he can't move the same, and when he tore that back up, the disc. Yeah. But he can still yeah. run the floor, Kim. Yeah, he can the run, but it's, it ain't like he used to be. Because you got to understand, no, he's okay, seven he feet tall. Be. Doing the stuff that he doing, it ain't normal <laughs> for a seven foot tall brother to be moving the way he doing. People forget okay, he's seven well, feet tall. Okay, then, but um, So I, he just I, making I, it I, until he done. But yeah, he's really done. That's why he can't move. He can't make those cuts. Like he did in those Orlando years, because when he went well, back, better, y'all. He better go get some. He better go get some of that deer antler spray, like Cole no did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's like T Mac. When T Mac back went out, same thing. I don't know what it is about Orlando, but when they back go, <laughs> those moves are gone, <laughs> and he ain't no guard. T Mac could just who right. T Mac just well, stop well, pulling up and well, shoot. T Mac, T Mac was just broke. Period. He had bad back, bad knees. Yeah, but his back went first. <laughs> when your back go, yeah. that one that was during the height of his career. He was lucky to get those deals. He went to the same teams. He went. He went right to the Houston Rockets, and he had a couple of good seasons there. And then his knees start going out, but his back went first. And I don't know what it is about Orlando, but when your back go, that is it. Oh. Now, I'm like, man. Do you see the number 31 home? 31 up here. 290 back there. 
Yeah, we finna definitely take it this year. I, I don't have no doubt in my mind Cubs are winning. And that's really going to tick the socks off because they ain't going to have nothing else to say. Yep, that's all I'm waiting on. That's all they Because <laughs> they just waiting on they, they just waiting for us to fail so oh, yeah. bad. They just like, man, they got to fail. Somebody do something. Somebody, anybody, get out there. Sell, sell. <laughs> First cub with three consecutive thirty home receptions just rich. First cub with back to back. No oh, man, and he done broke so many records Brian did this year. It's... Nah, he talking about though. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I mean, he had a great year. He had the great past three years. What's that? Hey. I mean, he's he great, but if it's Brian. between him, Arietta, and Brian, who we got to keep one. Yeah. I already done told you to sit your mind interpretation on that situation. Because <laughs> Arietta ain't getting that to the damn steroids. The man is clean. Ha, ha, ha. 